Welcome to our data analysis tutorial. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question about cumulative lookback rolling joins. Our viewer has two data tables and wants to perform a rolling join that sums values based on specific conditions. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To perform a cumulative look back rolling join, we will first define our two data tables, D1 and D2. D1 contains start and end times, along with other variables while D2 contains specific timestamps and values. Next, we will iterate through each row in D2. For each timestamp in D2, we will look back at the corresponding rows in D1 where the value of V matches. As we look back, we will calculate the cumulative sum of the duration from D1 until the total duration exceeds 15 seconds. We will also keep track of how many rows we have summed. Finally, we will store the results in a new data table, including the cumulative sum of M and the count of rows used for each entry in D2. This approach ensures that we efficiently compute the rolling join while keeping performance in mind, especially with larger data sets. You can implement this using data.table or XTS for better speed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this example, we demonstrate a cumulative look-back rolling join using R. We start by loading the necessary libraries and creating two data tables with timestamps and values. Next, we define a function to get eligible rows based on a specified value, time, and threshold. This function calculates cumulative durations and filters the data accordingly. Finally, we apply this function to our second data table, D2, to compute the cumulative sums and the number of rows used for each entry. The output shows the cumulative sums and the number of rows used for each time entry in D2, providing a clear view of the rolling join results. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this solution, the user demonstrates how to perform a cumulative lookback rolling join using the data.table package in R. They start by creating two data tables, D1 and D2, with timestamps and values. Next, they convert the end time and time columns to POSIX seat format for proper date time handling. They then sort D1 by end time in descending order to prioritize recent entries. The user applies a function to each row of D2, filtering D1 for relevant entries based on time and value. They calculate cumulative durations and determine how many rows meet a specified limit.
Finally, the results are combined back into D2, showing the sum of relevant values and the number of rows used for each entry. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.